thousands of years ago. Like we had teepees and fires and there was no issue. It wasn't until after residential school there was an issue because people forgot the teachings behind the fire. Fires burning in Winnipeg's encampments have become a growing concern with fears they may spread to nearby buildings and homes. While these fires raise safety issues for the people living in encampments, they serve a deeper purpose. An Indigenous firekeeper says fires provide not only warmth but also healing and a vital sense of community. The fire is a light that brings the people. They come to it. It's like a gathering. Firekeeper Patrick Nealon, also known in the community as Gold Star, says many have forgotten the sacredness of fires in Indigenous teachings. Last month, he was the firekeeper at a fire in the encampment at Fort Rouge Park after Winnipegger Tammy Bateman was killed. The fire is the light helps the spirit and guides the spirit to the fire so the family can um, four days and four nights with the spirit and talk about the, uh, the spirit and uh, everyone gets to learn about who that person was so they can honor them and help with the grieving and the healing of the family. Nealon says fires are needed especially in vulnerable communities like the unhoused population but safety is paramount. He says situations like the multiple fires being reported in Winnipeg encampments last week cannot continue. He says people need to learn how to properly care for the flames by reconnecting with their teachings. When we eat with the fire, we talk to the fire, we sing to the fire. We're constantly with the fire. And that's the thing with some most of these fires that people leave it unattended and you're not supposed to because the fire is a spirit. It's like leaving your friend alone. But with not enough fire keepers to go around the city, Neelan says he would love to see programs that bring fires to the people who need them so more measures can be taken to keep people safe and help them heal. We can have some ceremonies down the river and help these people heal and help them move on and make better choices. In Winnipeg, Joan Roberts, City News.